So it's lovely to see you here, the Puzzies, all the way from Eagles Creek. And um, you, of course, now have started, between all of you, you've started this marvelous idea of the EAA Young Aviators. Please tell me what it's all about. Okay, so the EAA Young Aviators is kind of a group of anyone who's starting out their journey in aviation to almost their first commercial job. So we've set an age group of about 16 to 30, but whether you're just under or just over, you're welcome to join us. And it's just to bring a bit more young blood into the aviation community and introduce the generation gap between the EAA Young Eagles and the EAA as a whole. Because our age group between 16 to about 30, 35, there's not really any group for us. So if you are in that age group, you are welcome to join us. If you're passionate about anything related to aviation, come and join us. Anyone from a glider pilot, heli pilot, agricultural pilot, you know, fixed wing, anything, you are welcome to join us. This is for anyone who's passionate and wants to just be a part of a community where we can talk about anything and everything aviation related. Come and join us. And you can also meet everyone at EAA who has so much knowledge to give and just a part and wants to make that the generational gap come closer together. So, of course, at my age, I'm very welcome to join your group. You are welcome to come <laughs> and see us. <laughs> if you think you're 21, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but this is a fantastic initiative, and I, I really applaud you for it. And are you having an open day um, at Eagles Creek later this yes. month? Yes. Yes, so on the 27th of January 2024, which is a Saturday, from about 1 p.m. we'll be having an introduction to what the EA is. Anyone's welcome to join. If you go on our social media pages on Instagram and Facebook, you'll see that there's a post with an invitation and you can either click the link in the description or you can scan the QR code on the picture and register using the Google Forms. And there'll be food provided and we're going to just have a chat about what the benefits are, what we're about, and there'll be chats about what EAA is as well. And we're just going to play some nice icebreaker games where we can all just get to know each other a little bit more. So if this is something you're interested in, go onto our social media pages and register, or you can go onto the EAA's website and also register through that. And what does Dad have to say about all this initiative? Dad's great. Well, I kind of pushed them to get the youngsters together. I kind of think this is how it started. That's just talking about why don't we fly with the young people anymore? Oh, there aren't any. So, yeah. <laughs> so then we sort of started, there actually were a few around. And I said, well, let's connect with them. And that's kind of how it started, you know. So, I remember when you presented it at the auditorium. Yeah. You actually presented it, I think, didn't you? I think Mike did. No, I did. I ad well, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you ad yes. And um, so I presume you're also the, the, the brains behind this. Well, as well, I think it's a family initiative. I it think with is. our daughter going into the aviation industry and not really knowing anybody and dad having all the old contacts and so on. You, you find that the youngsters need that need that grandma, grandpa kind of feedback as to what it's all about. I mean, we all learn stuff from our grandparents and the EAA is a generation with so much experience that it would be nice to kind of have the youngsters gain from that rather than it being such a an empty space. And I, the EAA is actually a family. It is, it is. 100%. I was going to say that this is definitely a family effort, like we've all almost got our sectors that we're working on and all together it's like a group of us just coming together to make it work. So he's got his part that he does, she's got her part and I've got my part that I do and as a family we just make it work and we're trying to just start the community to make it a whole. How far are you in your flying career at this stage? I'm busy with my commercial license and I'm doing some exams now so I'm almost done with all my exams when I can start my IR training. So I'm not that far off but I'm still maybe I'd say about halfway there. And your hours at this stage? Uh, I'm getting close to about 200 total hours. That's wonderful. And are you going to go and instruct after this? I think so, yes. I'm just going to see where it takes me, which is the nice thing about aviation is I think there's so many avenues you can go into that you can kind of see like what comes about and then go and follow that or whatever you kind of your passion is. But I think I'm probably going to do instructing after I finish my commercial license. What a pleasure is it to talk to you as a family. And thank you for speaking to African Pilot. Pleasure. Thank you for having thank us. You. Coming Thanks. on board.